With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Today our question is we have to find the reflection of the point alpha, beta, gamma in the xy plane, yz plane as well as zx plane. So let me explain this question using a diagram first. Let me draw a 3D form. Okay, this is the z axis this is the y axis and this is the x axis so this is the 3d space 3d x y z axis right so in this i have to do what first of all let me place the point x y z in the first quadrant or we can say the first octant because here in 3d the total space is divided into the octant so i am placing the point that is alpha beta gamma in the first octant right so here it is the first octant alpha beta gamma this is the z axis this is y axis and this is the x axis right so the opposite of all the line segment that is the y axis the in opposite of positive y as this is positive y the negative y will be just opposite as this is positive of z the negative z will be just downwards and as this is the positive x the negative x will be just opposite inside the plane. So, uh, as I have to find the reflection of the point alpha, beta, gamma, first of all in the x, y plane, right? So, let's find the x, y plane. Here, here it is the x, y plane. As the uh, point is in the first, first octant, the point will be below the x, y plane, right? In Below the first octant. So, when the reflection is in the first octant at the equal distance, at the equal distance, at the equal perpendicular distance, right? So, here I can find that the value of the z coordinate will become negative, other will remain same. So, the value of the reflection of this point will be, let this reflection is r, this is the point a. So, r is the reflection in the xy plane, then the value of the coordinates of r will be alpha, beta, minus gamma, because in below xy plane, the z will become negative, okay. And similarly, if we have to find the reflection of the point A with respect to YZ plane, let that point be P, right? Let that the reflection of the point A with respect to YZ plane is P. So, I need to find the coordinates of the point P. So, let's find the YZ plane. Here I can see the YZ plane that is the plane sheet itself that is behind this plane. So, in this plane X will be negative as we extend the negative X. Here at this place the point P will be the reflection of the point A below, uh, behind the YZ plane in the plane. So, we can see that X will be negative. So, therefore, the points remaining the all the distances same and the coordinates same just changes that the X coordinate will become negative that will be minus alpha, beta and gamma. Similarly, if I want to check for the reflection of this point A in the ZX plane, right? In the ZX plane, let this point be Q. Let's find out the ZX plane. This is the ZX plane. This is the ZX plane. So, the image will be here, here at some equal distance. That is the perpendicular distance with A. Let the image is Q. That is image or reflection. We can say that in this, in this space, that is just the side of this octant, the value of the, the value of the y coordinate will become negative. So, I can see that the coordinates of q will be alpha minus beta and gamma. So, the answers are for the zx plane, the uh, reflection will be alpha minus beta gamma. For xy plane, the reflection, xy plane, the reflection will be alpha beta minus gamma and for the yz plane, the reflection will be minus alpha beta and gamma. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.